Sneaky Linux back again today in the house. Today we have a Linux Lite 3.4 beta. Yeah, beta. Hmm. So it's still not proper release, but it looks on course to be quite a good one. I'm just going to give you a quick look around, maybe looking at a few things. We'll see how we go. As you can see, nice and easy desktop. Two desktops to choose from at the moment. You can add as many as you want, or you can call them workspaces if you so wish. So you've got your time and date and stuff down here. Your sound and your ethernet connection, because that's what I've got, baby. Oh yeah. Down the other end of here, we have the terminal, files and folders, Firefox is your default browser, browser, browser even, and minimize all open windows and share the desktop. And your menu, of course, okay. Now when you first boot up after installation, or during trying the live DVD or USB, this is what you will get. So you get the chance to install all the updates, which I have already done. But you know what? I'm gonna click it anyway, so you can see. So install updates. So should we see? Yeah, let's have a look. Click one. Install updates. And it wants your password, okay? So we'll quickly put that in for us. That should be it. Yeah, of course it is. And I'll have a drink of this drinkage here. Oh look, my system is up to date because I've already done it. I wanted to make sure it was okay before we did anything else. The next is install your drivers. I don't need to, I've already done them. I just told you I don't want to waste any more points or time or anything, do I? On step three it says set a restore point. Now it uses system back to create a restore point just in case something goes wrong with your system. Now this is entirely up to you if you do this. I've never had to use anything like that, personally. But hey, it's a bit of peace of mind if you're coming from the Windows environmentage. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Of course you do. Then finally, installing your language. So just in case you're not English by default and you want your own language, whatever it is, install language. No good. Okay. Super duper. Then if you've already got the next slide, you can upgrade. Okay. Certain ones. But go and read through it just in case. So get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. That's basically all you get on there. And it shows you how to install hardware and stuff like that. But we're going to go through that before we do anything else. If I go down to our menu, I'll just give you a quick look at what we've got. <clears throat> There's my recently used, all my computer, settings, accessories, graphics, internet, multimedia, office and system. We'll go through the system. Light software. A tool easy to install and remove popular software and it's light. So we'll click it and see what happens. And of course it wants my password again. I'm going to do that. Sweetie Pinky. I'll have a quick drinking on. Uh, we'll click no, we've already done that. Okay. Mm. We'll click install software. Okay. And see what happens. Ooh. And there's some stuff we can install if we want to. So, what do we like? Cherry tree. Ooh. Should we try to yeah, install that? So, should we double click it? Do you want to install? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Bom bom bom. Ooh, nice and quick, isn't it? Very nice quick. Was that just my internet? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, on the whole, from when the next like first come around many moons ago, every release has got actually quite a lot better. Really, at the end of the day. So Cherry Tree is now installed. Okay, fair enough. Should we try and install software again, just in case. Might be something else in there. I might want to look at. You get Chromium in here, Dropbox, uh, a games pack, Cody, if you want to do Cody, okay. Little thing going down the UK about that, you might not be able to do that too much longer. A passwords manager, play on Linux, you're going to want that if you want to run some certain games, okay. Restricted extras, I've already done that, or haven't I not? No, you know what, I haven't done that, otherwise it wouldn't be there, because it says not installed. So I want to install that. Do I want to install restricted extras? Yes, I do. It downloads all the stuff for us. I'll drink a bit more of my drinkage, which is caffeine-free coffee today, by the way. Hmm. All of a sudden, it seems to have got stuck. Okay. So while it's doing that, we're going to do something else over here. Go back to the menu. Okay, where was we? My computer. It is just my computer at the end of the day. It gives you an entire file system directory if you want to have a look at that. Accessories? Accessories even. Archive manager, backups, screenshot. Terminal, text editor, cherry tree, which I just installed, good. Under graphics, you get Gimpage, a scanner, and an image viewer, that's nice. Under internet, Firefox, as I said before, is your basic browser of choice here. You also get Chunderbird for your mouse. Mm. Multimedia, a DVD and CD burner, VLC player, and a volume control. Yeah, all is standard, really. Under office, you get a bit, I was going to say again, you get a bit of LibreOffice, not the full lot. So open one up and see what happens. Yeah, why not? Go to a new document, see what happens. 
It's meant to be fast, isn't it? Yeah. Does what it says on my tin. Yeah, in my tin. You know what I'm saying? What else we got to show you here? Not too much, really. In the system, again, as we've already been to before. You can write a detailed system report if you want to. There's light tweaks to clean your system. Mm, I'd look at it earlier. Not too sure about that. You know, it all depends, doesn't it, really? System back for backing up and restoring the whole system, basically, in the day. System log and your task manager. Can we go back to another window, see what's happening? Not a lot, really. Got a bit stuck there, isn't it? Mm -mm, that's not very good at all. Mm, that's the only downside so far. Okay, back to the other window. You also get a help manual. So if I double click there and see what happens. Now this bit I do actually like. Can you see they've created a whole, whole page. Okay, in my, oh, I just decided to do some more things there. Look at that. In my personal opinion, the view of it is a bit old school, but hey, who cares? It does the job. I don't want you there, really, do I? If I'm, can I minimize that? No, I don't want to do that. Like that. Oh, it's done in there, anyway. So it installed it anyway, and we'll quit that now. So you get start here, contents, and install guide on how to install Linux Lite. So I'll click on it for you. It's all really detailed here. Really, really detailed. I know. It's very, very good. So you shouldn't have any problems installing it whatsoever. And remember, you can update from system to system. So once you've installed it, you don't really have to reinstall every time. But me being me, that's the sort of thing I would do. So if I say I want to know about my graphics drivers, we we'll click here. It tells you about the stuff it can and can't do. Okay. Obviously, if you've got NVIDIA stuff, no problem. If you're going to try and do ATI stuff, maybe not so good. Okay. Maybe not so good. But on the whole, very nice for a beta. I can't really complain, can I? Really? No, not at all. Not at all. Open up the browser for you. We've already seen it. I'll open it up again. Go straight to Google and it goes to the support forums of Linux Lite. Very, 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 very busy forums. So if you've got something, to ask, there will always be somebody here to answer the question for you, eventually. Okay. So in the quick time to play with it, I mean I installed it quite a while ago. I found it quite nice to use actually. Nice and fast. From the USB stick or the DVD, it is a bit slower, I will admit, a little bit slower, but hey, as soon as you've installed it, it's super fast. Anyway, on the whole, very nice. I can't wait for the full release, then we can have a look at it properly. Hmm. Sneaky? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye bye.